Hello guys, checking out uh, Sanger Mode 4.1 on Sony Xperia L. This thing is running Android version 5.1, which is a uh, really good thing for Xperia L because of how outdated the Socrom is. It's still on J Jelly Bean. Uh, so let's take a quick look at it. Uh, the first thing you will notice here is that I don't didn't flash the GFs and I am so on stock kernel. I have just flashed it two hours ago or so. So this are the quick look and everything here is untouched so you will have the idea how it looks on your phone. Going to the home screen you will notice the clean layout of the launcher. It's uh, pretty beautiful and I will really like it. You have the familiar options like home screen settings, you have the drawer settings and the app settings. One thing I like about this uh, Synergy mode is that you can go ahead and lock the apps so any other user except you won't be able to use this app for example if i turn the pattern here uh, if i repeat it again i i can go ahead and uh, tap this icon here this uh, icon and after this these two apps won't be showed in the app drawer nor i'll be able to launch it from any other app so to go to these apps here you have to through the pattern and go ahead and use them. Really a good feature and I think it should be on other ROMs too. Let's just unlock it. Also, it has really good and uh, really stable apps which don't force close and these are the usual apps which come with CyanogenMod ROMs. The first is the audio FX as you already noticed. It's a really good equalizer with uh, good uh, customization options like the bass boots and surround sound. You have the reverb and you have all of the options you can go ahead and customize the equalizer for headset for speaker usb bluetooth and wireless next step which i want to show you guys is browser browser is uh, one of my favorites because how fast and stable it is uh, the experience you get from this browser is really smooth and fast and you won't you will feel the difference comparing to other roms you have the several options here, you can customize the browser and it's really convenient for uh, everyday use. Next step is the calculator. Calculator is also Synergy Mode Fels with some uh, material design and really good look. I really like it of overall. The calendar app which, which is also here, you have several options. And I know you guys know about it but the camera, camera is uh, not great. I won't say it's bad, but the wash colors and some of my HDR does not work, for example, and the overall quality of the camera is not so good. So comparing to the stock, stock uh, J Jelly Bean ROM, it's really crappy, and I, I think it should be fixed in the future. You have other uh, apps, which I won't, won't talk much about because of uh, how familiar they are. You have the clock, two types of clock. You have the C clock, which is Synergy Mode, you have the clock which is the stock uh, which is on stock rom you can customize the widgets of it and uh, go ahead and do it for yourself you have the contacts you have the downloads email and this file manager which is really useful and i uh, really missed on other roms and it's it has this sd card it has the internal storage and you can go ahead and secure storage you can uh, pattern you can uh, secure it with pattern or pin and overall the look and feel of this uh, material design app is really useful really good i really recommend to anyone to try it out and see the results you have the gallery which have the fm radio which uh, unfortunately doesn't work but if you flash the fixes from xperia m uh, guys on xda found the fix for this uh, fm radio here go ahead and flash it and you will uh, be the radio will be fixed. You have the gallery app, which is worth a notice because how uh, beautiful and nice looking it is. It has some tweaks. You can customize it on your needs. And overall, I do like it over other uh, apps, over other gallery apps. You can go ahead and uh, check out the messaging app. It's also the stock, really nice looking, simple simple messaging app. With you have the keyboard, which is also based on stock which, which had the emoji keyboard i really like it and um, i i tend to stick with this keyboard as it's really nice looking and 
these spaces and the tiles are really good and convenient to use next app is the music which is one of my favorites i don't know about you guys but the sanjimos player is really unique in its way it has this simple simple look but the experience you get from it and the look of this uh, music player is really worth a notice and i really like it overall you have the playlist which has the last edit recently added and my top tracks you can add to queue and in the settings you'll find yourself familiar with this show music visual visualization on this can on the uh, lock screen you have the so show song lyrics which i could not do but uh, maybe you have to have the wi-fi connection or so you have the shake to play which uh, sometimes works and fine does not and you have the delete cache to remove the cache from this player you have the typical um, phone which is dialer from all of the rooms which are based on science mode and you have the settings you have the sound recorder which is also worth a notice because of its look and really good feel and you have the theme engine of course because it's science mode you can go ahead and customize any aspect of your phone and i really find it useful and miss on other rooms which doesn't have this option here so guys let's go through the settings and see what this rom offers to us uh, starting off from the look of these uh, settings it's really familiar because many other roms are based on this science remote fill point one you have the wi-fi you have the bluetooth and other settings in more you can find the nfc and the vpn which i think some settings are missing here because the other custom roms which are based on this uh, rom are pretty high and they add some features you have the sounds which is kind of unique in its way you have the ring volume you can go ahead and set the uh, ring volume you have the media volume you have the arm and you can customize the phone ringtone which is really good thing and set some of your favorite ones you have the interruption menu which is familiar from science mode you, you can go ahead and uh, set the interruption menu and apps you get this really cool feature which is launch music app what it does it launches the default music app when your headset is connected and it's a really good thing i really like it you have the increasing ring volume you have other sounds in here you can go ahead and customize it on your needs you have the vibrate on touch which are disabled for the video purposes and uh, this vi vibrator intensity force closes because uh, of some technical difficulties if you said uh, but uh, on this rom it is fixed it's a really good thing uh, on science mode 12 you have you had to f flash the uh, sunlit kernel for this not to to work so they fixed it in alpha 2 version which is a really good thing and i think it f the beta 2 version will be available soon you have the display and lights which has the brightness level which had this adaptive brightness which i really don't like because of how uh, not so uh, good it is it has some problems with the brightness you have the live display you have the rotation menu which can you can customize and uh, go ahead and see what degrees you want to rotate your screen i would like to keep it tick them all because how convenient it is sometimes you have double tap to sleep on such store, which is really good thing you have the sleep uh, and you have the wake on plug which is really useful cut screen as i noticed really works but i don't really use it you have the sign remote's uh, own settings here you have the expanded desktop you can go ahead and customize which apps you want to have this expanded menu you can hide the touch bar and navigation bar and so on you have the daydream menu which is uh, familiar from other rooms you have the font size and you have some options to see what this font will look like and you have the search bar in its menu I, I i really like to disable it because of how much space it uh, goes if you have the battery light uh you have the options to set the battery light while charging or the pulse if battery low you have the several options here you can customize the led of the xperia l which is really really unique uh, right now i'm not charging so these options won't be available for me you have notification light and you can go ahead and set the custom uh, your own 
speed and length and so on it's really familiar from sign mode so i won't talk about it um, and going to the lock screen you have several options like display music visualization and you have the lock screen shortcuts you can tap on any of these three apps and you can select any application you want not only applications but you can set the activities you can set the bookmarks direct dial setting shortcuts even it's a really good thing for example if i want to go to battery from the lock screen i can do that if i tap uh, swipe from the left side you can go to the battery left and it's a really good thing you have the owner info you have the screen lock which are um, swipe pattern pin and password going to the buttons you have the idea what it looks like on other rooms but Sanjemo sticks to the clean layout and you can customize many of these buttons. You have the power menu here, which is really useful. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have the silent mode, which are available on other custom ROMs. For example, the Flex OS and the Euphoria have this, uh, but unfortunately, Sanjemo does not add this feature in their ROMs. You have the screenshot, which is really useful, and uh, you have the profile switcher, which I really like to turn off because I don't really use this profiles of Sanjay mode. You have the airplane mode. And this user switcher and bug report doesn't work uh, or my device doesn't handle it. You have the back button, which uh, these three options here doesn't work because I don't have the on-screen buttons, but on the phones of uh, which have these on-screen buttons, it really works. You have the wake up device by the volume buttons, which is really unique. You have the playback control, you have the uh, keyboard cursor control and uh, rearrange, which is when you rotate your device in the landscape, the volume up and down buttons for rearrange, which is a really good thing. Going to the system profiles, I talked about it. It's the Sanjay Mod's own, uh, uh, own setting, which is you can customize any aspect of your uh, system. You can go to the Wi-Fi, you have the options to customize and see. After turning this mode on, what settings will be restored and uh, done. I really like to disable it for some reason because it's too complicated for me. And you have the stats bar, which is customizable and it's really useful and I want to talk, talk about it in this video. You have the clock style to set to left to right to hidden. You have the right menu, just I like to keep it on right side. You have the battery status style to icon portrait, icon landscape, and even text. You have the battery uh, battery percentage in the side of the icon or next to the icon. You have the brightness control, show notification count, which is really useful and I really like it overall. And in notification drawer, you will be familiar with this tiles menu. You can go ahead and customize the rear end and uh, do other customization options here. I really like to keep it the uh, four tiles maximum because it takes too much space. And you have some edit features like screen timeout, which is really useful. You can go ahead and customize the screen timeout from the notification drawer, which is really convenient for me. You have some compass, you have the live display, you have the uh, audio FX, you can uh, customize the ADB over network and many other options you will find here. You have the options to include the first row, which is these two Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles, which is really uh, convenient for me. You have the show brightness, you can toggle it on and off. I really like to keep it because it's really convenient for me. Advanced location settings, you can toggle it on and off also. Going to the uh, location, you can customize the on and off, you have the modes to set it to battery saving you had the options to set it to device only and uh, i do really like to keep it off because of how less battery it consumes uh, let's take a look at storage which uh, for my surprise it's uh, the available available storage is only 1.33 gigabytes which is really impressive comparing to other roms this rom is really lightweight and recommend you guys to check it out and see for yourself if you have the options to customize the and see the information of your internal storage you have the options to see the sd card and uh, you can see my storage here which is really impressive uh, you have the typical language and input 
you have the uh, settings here which I won't talk about the performance is uh, really not so not so many options here you have the enable power profiles which uh, tends to be uh, really good you have the IO scheduler you have the noob deadline and set on booth option here and going to developer options you can see that it I have toggled some my favorite settings here which is advanced reboot when you power off your device and uh, tap on reboot you have the options to reboot to soft reboot recovery bootloader and so on you have the stay awake feature to never sleep while charging I really like to keep it because uh, while typing I re while reading I want to uh, charge my device and the screen will never go which is really convenient you have the root access from this menu here on default the side mode doesn't have root access so you have to enable developer options go to here and tap on apps and adba adb really a good feature you have the process stats which is stock androids uh, feature you have the options to set many other options you can system you can go to uss which i really don't understand but you can show the information about your phone and other options you will find here really familiar from you and overall guys this ROM is really beautiful it's really fast and only one bug here which uh, keeps me from installing and using it and as a daily driver is the blue screen of death error while charging and in this deep sleep uh, it's really bothering me sometimes because no one has uh, any clue why it happens uh, while charging or while deep sleeping the phone crashes by itself I don't know about why but I think the developer of this ROM which is Warun Chitra will soon be fixed uh, will fix this problem until then I'm sticking to Cyanage mode file myself because it's uh, really clean and uh, the lag is not bothering and I really like this ROM as well if it does not it did not have the this bug here uh, even if the it's, it's stock kernel without no without GFs, it still had this crash, uh, which I really don't like, and I think it should be fixed in the future. For now, subscribe for more videos like this. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.